as I've mentioned before, I, I think this anti-Semitism is not so much people being anti-Semitic, just people being stupid, people being uh, led by the nose, led by uh, unsavory characters, people who are actually anti-Semites, but they, it's easy prey. Too many of our students, too many kids on campuses, too many of us, especially young people, it appears, are, are easily uh, fooled with false narratives, not knowing history, and they just jump on the latest cause of the day, not really knowing why. I saw a video recently of a guy named Konstantin Kissin. Kaisen, I'm not sure how to say it, K-I-S-I-N. He's a Russian born, he's a satirist, he's a political commentator, and he lives and works now in Great Britain. And he was speaking at an event and he talked about how, and like I've talked about, how a lot of people, people's brains have been broken. I've talked, we've talked about the negative contagion, the social contagion of the woke left of believing things that you know aren't true. You know that men can't become women, but yet people believe it. Um, and it, and it's, and as we've had other psychologists on, they've talked about how excessively educated and excessively intellectual people are often the people who are most. Uh, susceptible to these false narratives because they're always trying to figure out some way to outsmart everybody and justify something, even if it's not true. How can I intellectually justify this? Oh, what a challenge. And now, now I believe my own bull crap. You know, it's that kind of thing. Um, you know, these these people with these broken minds, these these so-called anti-Semites, you know, they believe that America, I, I think a lot of it is anti-Americanism. They believe that our history is evil. That America doesn't deserve to be great, that Americans don't deserve the prosperity that we and our ancestors have worked for, that we don't deserve to be powerful or at least the most powerful nation in the world. And, and worse, that we need to be punished for our ancestors, for our sins of slavery and whatever else, that we're, we're nothing but a, a abominable oppressors and that we must live our lives apologizing for our and our country's past mistakes. Um, that our future is not one of hope and prosperity and freedom. Our one is about more government control and what, what he called managed decline. And this is what they're teaching our kids. This is why we've been up so, so upset. So many parent groups have spoken out. This is keeping, this is what they're teaching our kids. As this Constantine Kissin said, how dare you? You won't steal my son's and daughter's dreams with your empty words. And they were, and they are empty words, but they're much more than that too. They're dangerous, planned words with a purpose.